Time to go, buddy. Unless you want me to stay and play a while. Fuck you. I'm at work right now. You'll have to talk to your mother. I gotta go. Calm down. There's enough for everyone. Kids, drive you nutty some days, huh? This is crazy. You can't do this. She's a judge, bro. I'm a bailiff. We can do whatever we want to. Inject the prisoner. Oh. It's just a light sedative. Don't worry about it. I'm Billy, your defender. It's nice to meet you. You feeling scared? You feeling guilty, bro? Fuck off. Two demerits, <laughs> profanity. <laughs> this is a preliminary hearing. Anything you think, feel, and say can and will be used against you. Prosecution calls Dina Moore to the stand. Dina's your accuser. It says here that she's an event planner. I wonder if she'll plan my wedding. Do you identify your assailant? I do, yes. It was him. This whole thing is ridiculous. Prisoner will remain silent until question. Order merits. Tell us what happened in your own words. I was in the park jogging. Then he rode by me. He bumped my shoulder. Did that happen? What, and I bumped her? Sure, it, it was an accident. Bumping someone by accident is not a crime, Your Honor. What happened next, Ms. Moore? I lost my balance. I fell, actually. Then he held me up, found my purse, and gave it to me. A good Samaritan. We need more men like Mr. Andrews in the world. I realized when I got home that my wallet was gone. She's saying that I took it? It, it must have fallen in the grass or something. Prosecution calls Marion Foster, Joseph Kramer, and Claire Brenner to the stand. Loading witnesses. What the hell? They're AI replicants, chatbots. The witnesses gave their testimony remotely and the bots will fill in any missing information using probability. Yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm Joe Kramer. I saw that. It was dark, it was raining, I totally got soaking from the storm. Objection, the victim said it was sunny. Little glitch. Try again, Mary. It was sunny, I heard a sound like a motor engine. He was on a mountain bike, came out of nowhere, almost ran that girl down. He actually did run her down. What? Yeah, the lady fell, <laughs> her purse went flying. She was screaming, he pulled a gun. Prosecution calls Richard Marley, Mickey Ellington, and Paula Hogan to the stand. She started running. He said, you're gonna die, bitch. Uh, I can totally say bitch in court, right? She was screaming, and then he says, shut up. And then he hits her, and then he pulls a knife out. He freaking stabbed her. She said, don't kill me. He started laughing and stabbed her again. And then I called the doctor. What the hell was her name again? Dr. Gray from St. Clair Medical. I'm Dr. Gray from St. Clair Medical. I tried to save Dina, but she had already lost too much blood by then. I called her family. They said their goodbyes. The funeral was. This is fucking ridiculous. Mr. Andrews. You're all crazy. She's right there. I bumped into her, gave her purse back to her. That's all. Where are they coming up with this horse shit? Bots can hallucinate, like ChatGPT. They could be a little off now and then. A little off? They're stupid bots wearing human avatars. Chatbots are bullshit. Motherfuckers can suck my dick. 
AI testimony should never be allowed in court. You have 86 demerits, Mr. Andrews. 86 demerits for defaming chatbots and avatars. Some new data came in. The wallet was found. It was in the grass where you dropped it. Cruel. Prisoner is found innocent of the charge of theft. But he will be held for investigation for the crime of defamation of an artificial intelligence. Return the prisoner to his cell. Fucking hell. Bye. Shall I turn off the other avatars, Your Honor? Proceed. Stupid mop in here.